Speaking about international attention, acclaimed filmmaker Toka Magbaro's new action movie, The Island, has earned 10 nominations at the 2018 edition of the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. The nominations include a Best Director Nor for the Magbaro, whose other yet-to-be-released movies, including Kada River, are generating a lot of buzz. Mark Barrow now joins us via telephone. Thank you so much and congratulations, Toka. That came out of nowhere as the film has not been released commercially. Yes, yeah, it's yet to be released, and uh, but we did um, a couple of submissions online via Film Freeway for certain festivals across the world. So we did that with the hope of um, such things happening because um, we did the movie under a certain level of scrutiny and um, we shot in Kaduna. It wasn't convenient for the actors to travel down Femi Adebayo, Jaguar, Rinze and everybody. t boss. it wasn't convenient, but I, now it's worthwhile. I'm very happy about it and um, I hope we, we, we get to bag so much more than that. And we're looking forward to other awards coming up, other festivals coming up across the world. Tell us the story of the island. Well, the, the island is a, it's a fictitious story. It's um, a lot of people, I've heard people say it's a movie about Boko Haram and all that. Well, you may be able to tie it to one or two things in our everyday life, in our everyday society, in the army, in uh, the insurgency in the country. Yeah, you can tie it to that, but the characters in the movie are strictly based on fiction. It's a story about a certain um, a certain army officer that uh, discovered something he shouldn't discover. So that's how... I don't want to give too much about it because I want you to watch the movie too. So basically, that's what the story is about. It's not an everyday love story, boy meet girl kind of story. So it's different. We took some risk by going in that direction but I believe it will pay off. The island explores the action genre, which requires a lot of stunts. How did you go about achieving this? Well, um, it's not easy. It's not easy, and um, that's, that's where I just felt we, I, we need to improve on. As a filmmaker, as a, as a film director, as an editor, as a cinematographer, we all need to improve on it. The island is not perfect, it's far from perfect, but. I think we did the little we can do. I did most of the stunting myself. I had to because I don't know who else to call, except we we'll probably want to bring people in from Hollywood or somewhere around the world. So we didn't want to do that. So we decided to do some of these things ourselves. There's still a lot to improve on, but gradually, gradually we're getting there. I'm one of those guys that said, Nigerians, we're not ready for action films, but we can film drama. So I think, Somebody needs to take the step. Um, Echiko Ejiro in the past did some work. Um, Ifanya Yabo did some work. So we're trying to improve on these things gradually. And it will take time, but we'll get there because you need a lot to activate an action sequence and do it properly. Lastly, before I let you go, Toka, what is the reception like commercially for Nigerian films outside the shores of Africa? Well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because some of our people that live across the, the globe, they, are, they don't have the opportunity to come home. So the closest they get to Nigeria are through these films. So it, it hurts that most of us filmmakers try to make films that are not realistic with what is going on, that people cannot actually relate to it. So if you're making a movie trying to mimic the... Um, the foreign films trying to sound foreign and all that you are giving them what they already have so you are not making any difference but if filmmakers can tell our stories the way they should be told the real thing that is going on i tell you the reception will even be more but so far so good africans across the world they love our movies because that is the closest they can come to nigeria and the non-africans the non-africans Unfortunately, the films that will make any difference in that part of the world are the ones that are telling our story. So we are breaking in gradually. It will still take time. It will still take maybe 20 to 30 years to begin to compete with them, the Marvel of these worlds, the Sony, 
and all that to begin to compete with all those huge budget films. But it is possible. It is possible. Nobody can tell your story like you. You are the one in it. So let's tell our story and the world will accept us for who we are. Many thanks again for joining us, Tuka Magbaro. Up next on Entertainment News is Spotlight. And today we've got jazz artist Uduak Daniel.